So today I'm here to talk about there's no such thing as a confident man. The fuck is he talking about? I'm back. Here's the thing, guys, why I say there's no such thing as a confident man. Being confident with woman is one aspect of life. Just because you're confident with women does not make you a confident man. That's guys think just that's the end all be all. Well, I'm confident with women. Yeah, was you comfortable uh, confident taking that math test, the algebra test? Was you confident in that? All right. Was you confident taking that literature test? All right. This is the thing. Was you confident in uh, English class? All right. That is one aspect of life. What you talking about? What you talking? What you talking about? What you talking about? AMS. AMS. By far one of my favorite dating coaches. But what he just said, that made no sense. If we use his logic, that means no one is considered a confident man. But who am I? Mr. Confidence, a.k.a. the confidence creator. Bitch! Hey, bitch! Bitch! Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. So don't tell me that they're not guys out there that are confident. Because every time I look in the mirror, I'm looking at one. Matter of fact, call one of your female friends right now. And let me know what they say in the comments down below. You say he ugly? She, she, she said you ugly. She, she said you. What the? Man, that's cold. Y'all, y'all ain't have to do me like that. I put my earrings in. Let me, let me know if they change their mind. Boy, bruh. So why doesn't what he's saying make sense? Because no one's good at everything. So I guess if we use his logic, that means no one on earth is a confident man. What made me a confident man is my social skills. I know when I walk in a room, I'm the center of attention and all eyes should be on me. I mean, I guess you could say I got a big ego. <laughs> and if in the beginning they're not all on me, by the end of the night, I'm sure they will be. Because I'm that charming. Nigga, please. My swag is up there. And yeah, looks are subjective, but my charm, my charm is infinite. And that's, that's just personally my opinion on how I feel about myself. And guess what? That's the only opinion that matters. So. You, 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 you. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get out! Wait, don't leave. We're not even halfway through the video. Let's move on to the next topic. The first thing you're going to do is, when you get a woman's number, you're going to wait a week or two. Me, I wait about 10 days. Is is it? It's up to you guys, but I advise you to wait at least a fucking week because what you're trying to show a woman is that you already have a life. Now, a lot of guys fuck up right out the gate because they get a woman number and they call her the next day or the day after that. Guys, that is way too fucking needy. So this phone strategy, I actually like this strategy. There's only one problem about it, though. It won't work for you. And you're wondering why won't it work for you? Is because you already have to be advanced game for it to work for you. Your game has to be so advanced that you leave a week long lasting impression on her. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't care how cute a girl is, I'm probably not gonna remember her a week later. And I'm not the one getting hit on by different girls every time I go outside. So imagine if you were a female and you're always getting hit on, you're a decent looking girl, you're always getting hit on, and you give out your phone numbers to a guy that you think is charming, but then they wait a week to 10 days to hit you up. Come on, son. In that 10 days, there's probably been a bunch of guys that were, that hit on that girl, especially if you're in New York. After you wait a week to 10 days, that attraction that she built for you, for your personality, she's gonna start to forget that. And it's gonna die down. A week, 10 days might go by, and you might she might not remember who you are. So this reverts back to the question that I know you guys are asking. Why does AMS tell you guys to wait 7 to 10 days? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> you don't know? Well, he's only telling you what works for him. It's like I would only tell you what works for me. So the question you gotta ask yourself is, do you have AMS swag? Do you have that kind of personality? Do you have that advanced level of game like he does? I don't think so. When he approaches a woman and he talks to them, and all of that stuff that he talks about, that took years of practice for him to get to where he's at. Oh, practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? Like, he didn't just wake up, watch a couple YouTube videos, and- Just do it! 
That takes a long time to practice. So if you're not at that level of game and you go out and you meet a girl for the first time and you don't leave the best impression on her, like maybe you just come off as okay. Like you decent looking, you're okay to talk to, you got a decent personality on you. You shouldn't wait seven to ten days to call that girl because she's not going to remember you. Now, if you start getting to know her, you start hanging out with her more often, going out on a date and she's feeling you, then things will progress. But if you wait seven to ten days, she's going to probably be like, like, I don't remember who that is. That's all I got for you guys. If you want to learn more about how to be more confident and approach females, just check out the description down below. It's a link to my website where you can schedule a call or an in-person session if you're in New York. Um, I'm going to do a second part to it because it's a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk about. And I think I could cut it up into two videos. So um, like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you got any questions, comment down below. Uh, new video topics, let me know. And um, I got a message for all you dating coaches. Got a message, y'all, for me. Playtime is over.